Hey, softball fans, we'll get back with another game for you. This is going to be a game from Saturday's Great Smoky Mountain Senior Classic hosted by ISSA in Knoxville, Tennessee this past weekend. The game's going to feature Team One Sports slash Kelleher Law Firm against Lighthouse Lookouts. Both teams are coming into the game undefeated, and this is the winner's bracket final for the American bracket. The winner goes on to face the winner of the national bracket tomorrow morning, and the loser drops into the loser's bracket and faces one of the national teams in hopes of fighting their way back to the championship game. So with all that having been said, let's go ahead and get started and see how this thing plays out. Got Lance Root out there representing Team One Sports Kelleher and Dan Sweat out representing the Lighthouse Lookouts. They'll be playing by the major rules, which are six home runs, five runs an inning. And because Team One Sports Kelleher is considered a major plus team, they have to give an equalizer. So Look, the Lighthouse Lookouts will get one run an inning in the first through the fifth innings. In addition to their five runs, if they get five runs. I saw a glove on one of the Team 1 players, so it looks like Team 1's going to be the home team this game. Okay, defensively for Team 1, it looks like Bob O'Brien's going to start off pitching. Final plate is going to be Norman Williams. First base is going to be Donnie Burke, I believe. Second base, I believe Doug Cullen is playing. In the middle is going to be Andy Packard. Shortstop is going to be Kenny Smith. And third base is going to be Arnie Torres. In the outfield, I believe left field is Chris Perrone. Center field is John Livingstone. And right field is Alan Tanner. I have to apologize to the Lighthouse Lookout players. I only know one guy on the team, and that would be number 30, Rayford Lee. He and I have to play together for a team in Mississippi called Louisiana Bag several years ago. Uh, outside of that, I wish I knew the, the roster for the Lighthouse Lookout so I could give them credit also. So here we go. Leading off for the Lighthouse Lookout is going to be number 17.
And he hits one past Kenny at shortstop. Going to get on with a single. Next up for the like out look for the lookouts gonna be number fourteen. And he's gonna slap one in the five six hole. Make it first and second for the lookouts. That will bring number 11 to the plate. And he's got it up in the air. See jogging over. That's going to be a three-run home run. And we're going to go ahead and give them their equalizer run now. Next hitter for the lookout is going to be number seven. Or actually, number 19. And he's going to hit a home run. Now we're finally going to get to see number 7 come to the plate. Pulls one foul. Bob misses short with that pitch. And just outside with that one, that's going to make it a full count. No foul balls to use. And he's going to miss inside. So number seven draws a walk. Brings number one to the plate. Hit one backside over to right field. <coughs> Runner on first, gonna move around to third. So now we got first and third for number 44. And he goes back through the middle. Bob watches it goes by. That's going to score the run. And that's going to end the inning for the lookouts. So they're going to jump out to a quick 6 nothing lead.
Okay, so warm-up pitches are completed. Leading off for Team 1, Kelleher is going to be number 19, Andy Packard. And he hits one of the second baseman, makes a running throw, got one down. Moves us to Bob O'Brien, number 16. Bob pulls one foul, getting loose in there. Pitcher tried to sneak one in there. And Bob hits a line drive back up the middle. It's going to be a base hit. Give Team 1 Kelleher their first base runner. And it's going to bring Doug Cullen, number 9, to the plate. It's going to be a strike, a 2-1 count. Doug hits one of the second baseman, flip to second. First baseman drops the ball. So we're going to have one out, two outs. Now batting, Allen Tanner. Tanner, number 18. Uh, hits one out there. Right fielder comes over, tries to make a play. Ball's going to be down on the ground. That's going to score a run. Allen goes into second with a double. Can move the order up one to John Livingstone, number 11. And he's going to fly out to right field. So we're going to move into the top of the second. Look out with a five run cushion and the bat.
leading off for the lookout is going to be number zero zero. And he pulls one foul over the left. Two hopper to the second baseman, throw to first, in time, first out. Brings number 69 to the batter's box. Hits one out to right field. Tanner fields it, throws it in. <laughs> That'll move us to number 10. Tries to go backside. Ball still in play. Ball comes in. Ooh, hits one off the second baseman's glove. He's got some wheels. He's going into second. Yeah, he's safe. That's not even close. So we're going to have second, third, one out. Bring this to the 11th hitter in the order, number three. He tries to go right side, but I think he gets the ball out of play. So he'll get another hack. O'Brien's waiting to get his players to get back in position. Little inside. <clears throat> and he's going to drill one. Hand side of the second baseman. Gets to the fence. He's on his horse. He's going to get a triple out of it. That's going to score two. And take us back to the top of the order. Number 17 hitting. Number 17 got a base hit his first time at bat.
and he's going to draw a walk this time. Puts runners on first and third for number 14. He also got a base hit his last time at bat. And he's going to hit one in the left center field. Center fielder goes over, gets the throw in. 14's going to go in. <laughs> he's got to go in head first. I guess he thought he, he had a little more time than that. So That will bring number 11 to the plate. I can't see the can't see third base, but I think there's runners on second, third. Okay, he hits one to the shortstop. Shortstop knocks it down. That's going to score the run from third. So we're going to be back to first and third again. Bringing number 19 to the plate. He had a home run last time at bat. <clears throat> okay. Look like run scores. Plus the equalizer run. Uh, Donnie must have missed the guy at first base for him to be safe. They tagged the guy at second for the out and missed the guy at home, was late getting the ball to the home plate. So we're going to move to the bottom of the second inning. Team one Kelleher in a little bit of a hole here. They need to need to have a good inning and get their five runs. Keep the lighthouse lookouts from getting away from them a little bit. Leading off for team one is going to be Donnie Burke, number six. It's a line drive back at the pitcher. Pitcher drops it, throws over to first base, one out. Brings up number 12, Chris Perone. Chris also hits one back at the pitcher. Pitcher makes a play. Two quick outs. And it's going to bring up number eight, Kenny Smith. Kenny gets a good hack at it. The fielder going back, it's out of here. It 
That will move us to number 10, Arnie Torres. Arnie's coming off a recent injury. I believe he tore his bicep a couple weeks ago. And Arnie pulls one foul, or pulls one down the line. And he's going to leg one out for a double. That will take us to the 10th hitter in the order, Norman Williams. Norman hits one back, pitcher backhands it, throws to first. Okay, so we're out of the inning with just one run. Going to the top of the third. Leading off for the lookouts is going to be number seven. He drew a walk in his first at bat. He's going to hit one out to left field. Left fielder goes over, plays the ball off the fence. Runner goes into second standing up. will bring us to number one. Get to one hopper. The middle infielder makes a throw to first. First out. That's going to bring number 44 to the plate. setting his defense. And he catches the first baseman cheating, hits one into right field. Tanner comes up with the ball, throws into the infield. So we'll have runners on first and third, one out. That's going to bring number 00, zero to the plate. He grounded out to the second baseman the first time at bat. And he pops it up. Shortstop going back. It looks like the shortstop dropped the ball when he didn't, didn't come up with the ball. So he's going to have a double. He's going to score one. So we got second and third. with number 69 coming to the plate. He singled his first at bat.
And shortstop tries to backhand it. So we're going to have bases loaded. That'll bring number 10 to the plate. And Bob walks him on three straight pitches. That's rare. That's going to force one in. Still got bases loaded. Bringing number three to the plate. His at first bat. His first at bat was a triple. And he hits one out in the left center field. <laughs> center fielder's playing it off the fence. Look like it creamed off the pole. And he's going to end up with another triple. So that's going to score three. Plus the equalizer run. So Lighthouse Lookouts, the inning ends for the Lighthouse Lookouts on their five runs. They take a commanding lead, 18-2. to two, Going into the bottom of the third. Team 1 Kelleher almost has to put some runs on the board this inning to kind of keep stay in the game. Otherwise, this is, could get out of hand pretty quick. Top of the order for Team 1, Andy Packard, number 19. Tries to go to right field. Right fielder coming over. Makes the play. That will bring Bob O'Brien up to the plate. Bob got a single in his first at bat. Catcher trying to tell the left fielder, here it comes. And Bob pulls one down the line. And he's going to trot into second base with a double. Brings up Doug Cullen. Doug hit into a fielder's choice his first at bat. <clears throat> And he hits one out towards right center. Base hit. Right fielder makes a good play on it to keep it from going to the fence. That'll score a run. And we got Alan Tanner back at the plate, who hit a double his first time at bat. Catcher pointing to left field again. Allen goes the opposite way. And he's going to get a double off the right center field fence.
Puts runners on second and third for number 11, John Livingston. Stones gave that one a good look. That was almost on the plate. You can see the pitcher really wanted that one. And Stones is going to get a base hit. That will score one. The runner holds up at third. That's going to make it first and third for number six, Donnie Burke. Donnie gets it up. He's looking at it. Yeah, it's a home run. So that's going to score three and in the inning for Team One Sports. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change for Team One Sports Kelleher. Norman Williams is going to go to the hill, and Bob O'Brien is going to take, take on the catching duties. Lookouts are looking, coming to plate, looking to expand their 11 run lead. It's going to be their top of the order, number 17, who's got a base hit and a walk in his previous two at bats. And he finds the 5-6 hole for a base hit. Next hitter is going to be number 14. finds the front inside corner and then walks him so we have first and second gonna bring up the catcher number 11 he's homered base hit after the home run 
And he's got that one in the air. Right center fielder's going back. There's not enough room, though, so that's going to be a three-run home run. That brings up number 19. I just noticed that Team 1 Kelleher went back to a traditional four-man outfield. He hits one backside. And that one's going to get out of here for a home run. That will bring up number seven. He walked and then got a double. And he pulls that one foul. Fouls it off again. And now he's got to have the ball in play. No more foul balls to use. And he fouls it off again. So that'll be your first out. I don't know if you call that a strikeout, but he's out. That brings up number one. Got a base hit in his first at bat, then hit one to the middle infielder who threw him out at first base. Gets one past the shortstop in a 5 6 hole. Throw comes in. He's going to be at first. That's going to bring number 44 to the plate. He's got two singles in his previous at-bats. Hits one past the third baseman in the left field for a single. So we got first and second. Bringing to the plate number zero, zero. This hitter grounded out to the second baseman his first at bat and got a base hit last time up. And he goes backside. That's going to get past the right fielder into the gap. And score one. And that will be the end of the inning. Plus the equalizer run. So the lookout stay consistent. Getting, scoring five runs and getting four equalizer runs in each of the first four innings. T1 
team one Kelleher knows they got to come up and they got to get their five this inning. Leading off for Team 1 Kelleher is going to be number 12, Chris Perrone. Chris hit one back at the pitcher in his previous at bat. Chris finds the 5-6 hole, starts things off for Team 1 Kelleher with a base hit. Bringing Kenny Smith to the plate, number 8. Kenny pulls one foul. We'll reset everything. Give him another whack here. Kenny hits a grounder to shortstop. Shortstop digs it out, gets it to the middle infielder for the force. So that'll be the first out. Next hitter is going to be number 10, Arnie Torres. Arnie legged out a double in his first at bat. And he tries to play it safe. Hits one out to right field. Right fielder's under it. Two outs, bringing number 23, Norman Williams, to the plate. Norm also hit one back at the pitcher last at bat. And he tries to go backside. Looks like the third baseman's under it. That's going to be three. So Team One Sports Kelleher hangs a goose egg in the fourth inning when they really needed to get some runs. Lookout's looking to put this thing away with another six this inning. And
looking to start things off for the lookouts of things, number 69. Hits one out to right center field. Home run. That's going to bring number 10 to the plate. He reached on a double in his first at bat, drew a walk to the last at bat. And he's going to get one back up the middle for a single. Right center fielder comes over, gets the ball in, and hold him to a single. That takes us to number three. He's got two triples in this game. Williams gets in front with a strike. Works him inside. Hits one past the shortstop. Left center fielder gets the ball in. We've got first and second. Going to the top of the order, number 17. And he finds a 5 6 hole. Left fielder comes up with the ball. I can't tell if the runner on third scored or whether we got bases loaded. So we'll, we'll just call it bases loaded for now. That's going to bring number 14 to the plate. He's got two hits and a base on balls. And he's got this one up. Left fielder's going back. He stopped moving. And that's going to be a, a home run. So that's going to be four. plus the equalizer run and that's five runs for the inning guys change them up and team one of Kelleher is in trouble I'm not exactly sure what the run rule is. I imagine it's around 15. So. But we got the top of the order coming up. Number 19, Andy Packard. And he hits one out the left. Looks like it's right at the left fielder. First out. It's going to bring Bob O'Brien to the plate. Bob has got a single and a double in the previous two at-bats. And 
he hits one at the second baseman. Looked like it hit the lip of the grass there, bounced over him. So Bob is on with a single. Doug Cullen's your batter. Doug has got a fielder's choice and a base hit. I think that was a defensive swing there to keep the ball from hitting him. Foul ball, though. New ball comes into play. And looks like Doug's got it up. Second baseman going back. He's going to get under it. So Team 1 Sports is down to their last out. The runner is going to move up to second base. So that brings us to number 18, Alan Tanner. Alan has got a couple doubles in his previous two at-bats. And Alan hit it. Looked like he hit it well. So he's going to hit a home run. So that will bring us to number 11, John Livingstone. He's got it up. Second baseman's got shield in the sun. He's got the ball for the third out. And that looks like it's going to be the ball game. So Lighthouse Lookouts is going to advance to the finals of the winner's bracket against the winner of the national bracket. And Team One Sports Kelleher Law Firm is going to drop into the loser's bracket to play uh, one of the national teams in the loser's bracket. Hopefully they'll win a couple games and get back to the championship game, or at least get back to the lighthouse lookouts or whoever comes down to the loser's bracket. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for this evening or do it for this game. Hopefully if you like the video, hit the like button down below. Uh, if you have a subscription, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Have a great night. And we will see you the next time around.